Erin from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center, and we're going to make a little rocket. Now, the real rockets that NASA uses use Newton's third law, which says that for every action there's equal and opposite reaction, or for every force there's an equal and opposite force. Now, the rockets that NASA uses make a gas that pushes out, and when the rocket pushes the gas backwards, the gas pushes the rocket forwards. We can do the same thing, but instead of making a gas, we can blow up air into a balloon. So, to make your rocket, you'll need a balloon, a straw, some tape, some string, scissors, and a paper clip. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is take your straw, and if it's a bendy straw, you'll need to trim off the bendy part. Then, for the straw, you'll want to get it on the string. I recommend getting it started and then sucking the string the rest of the way through. There we go. And then, because you don't want to keep having to redo that, tie off the string with a paper clip. Now, if you don't have kite string like we have here, you can also use dental floss, which is a little bit slipperier, but you can still use it. And most people have a bunch of it because the dentist always gives it out, and then, you know, you don't use it. So that's a good backup plan. Once you have that, you take some tape, and you put it on just across here. Anywhere in the middle will work, and this will hold the balloon in place. Then, you get the balloon, and you blow it up. And then you lay the balloon across the tape and get it into place there. Once you do that, it's okay to let it go. Because then what you'll need to do is tie the string. Tie the string up someplace super high and then go to the other end and be ready to launch it. And once your string is all stretched out, you're ready to launch in five, four, three, two, one, blast off. So be sure to check out more fun of motion at scienceoffcenter.org or come to our camping under the hood.